Okay, so uh, let's uh, start with the wing. Uh, I continue from part one. So this is a lovely feather, same on both sides, and, but uh, I can I can feel already it's going to be difficult to tie in. It's not an easy feather to do. Let's just give it a try. First try, never done before. Uh, this this feather, so I just need to. There we are. So as you see, spot on. Okay. So now this has dried properly, so time to move on with the next step. So waxing the thread. And I'm gonna do the opposite side first. At least try. So let me see. Set that one. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit more. Better, more in line. As you see. So I'm gonna do the same procedure on my side. Once again, I'm going to add uh, varnish. And make sure it dries properly. And prepare the third set of feathers. Okay, so I'm gonna make a pause now and continue when it's time to mount the, the third pair. So let's um, <clears throat> try to put the third one on. So, just before we start, 
Just gonna add some wax on the thread again, as always. So let's just see what we can do here. So I'm just gonna turn this one a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. again and let it dry and then I'm gonna add uh, the last pair uh, of feathers in the wing and then it's a topping. Um, yeah. So time to add the last uh, feathers. Hey come eat. I got the company with my lovely dog so He's running around there and uh, inspecting things. So let me see if I just need to turn this one. Come here, Kay. Come here. So we need to have it somewhere there. Well, friendly feather. We didn't even need to hold it. So there we are, magic, that means uh, I need to uh, put some varnish and let it dry out a bit and then we're gonna add uh, one or two toppings, I'm not sure yet, depending on how it looks and then we're gonna do the horns and then finish off the head, okay? So uh, I'm gonna attach these ones. Uh, as sides for this pattern. So I'm gonna do that before uh, starting with the toppings. So let me then wax the thread. of it. There we go. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Varnish on both sides, make sure they just stay. 
Gut. And uh, in a bit, few minutes, then it's time to uh, move on with the topping. One or two, not sure yet. So let's see. Okay, so uh, time for topping. So let me see. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna do two actually. So I think I just add the other one immediately. Hope it's not that long. Should let me match. I don't think it's gonna be okay. light a bit not that bad so just gonna secure it a few wraps of the thread and then uh, uh, I'm gonna add some varnish and then I think it's not in the pattern itself, uh, but I might. Nah, I'm not going to do a wooled head. I thought that would be interesting, but let, let's stick with the pattern. Okay. So on top of that, I'm just going to do the varnish before I forget it. So it's going to have horns from the Macau. Gonna shape them a bit. that turns out as always start with the wax
Oops. So I need to secure that one. Yeah, I'm gonna play with the topping later. Um, there we have the horns. One side. Let's see if I can do the similar on this other side. Once again, I didn't tighten this one, so let me see. Oops. So that one is a bit shorter. are in place like that so I'm just gonna wax the thread do a few wraps secure the thread do a few layer of varnish and uh, the fly is ready so it's gonna be framed and uh, I will bring it to the EWF fair in uh, Munich, Germany, uh, 6th and 7th of April. So if you're there, come have a look. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out uh, any of my coming videos. Okay, have a nice weekend. Bye.